just published a video about how to install PolyMC and now I feel like it's completely useless. We have all these things happening now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at some alternatives. So we have ATL Launcher, MultiMC, Prism, and then GD Launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and try work my way through all of these and see which one works out the best. I'm probably going to start with Prism maybe GD launcher uh, seeing how I like them um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of see how easy it is to get these from the discover store just or discover application from the Steam Deck uh, because I want to minimize the amount of like having the transfer files to it or download on it because that just makes things a little bit more complicated and, and difficult on such a small device so let's go ahead and pop over to our Steam Deck. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch over to desktop mode and switch to desktop. So we are in desktop mode and let's go ahead and open up Discover. And let's just start by searching these because I don't want to waste a lot of time. Like I said, GD, GD Launcher. So GD Launcher is available. That's that's one point for GD Launcher. All right, let's go ahead and pop over to the next one. Prism. It's Prism Launcher, but same thing. We might have to go full name on this one. It's fairly. Re it might be recently published since it is a fork because of the whole shenanigans. Let's see if Prism Launcher pulls anything up. So right off the bat, Prism Launcher is not available um, in Discover. Let's go ahead and take a look at Multi-MC. Another one not available off the bat. ATL or AT Launcher. Oh, look at that one available all right so that's that's one point for at launcher as well i i'm just gonna double check because i don't know if it installed it did not there it goes not ready All right, AT Launcher and GD Launcher, both available um, from the store. Let's see what AT Launcher looks like. I don't see any pictures. I don't, I'm looking at AT Launcher's website. I don't see any pictures on here that kind of give me these details of how it works. Um, so this one might be obviously not, I don't, I don't know if it's forked off of MultiMC just by looking at it. Uh, usually a lot of these forks look very similar to it. So let's just hop back on and launch this thing. Alrighty, so right off the bat, anonymous statistics, just based on the last one, I kind of don't feel like giving anything. Alrighty, so similar setup. We have instances, servers, accounts. So here's where we kind of add an account. Uh, tools, network checker, debug, download, clear, um, runtime. I don't see anything in here. Vanilla packs. Packs. Um, so here's Modern. So that's kind of one thing I was looking for in Curse Forge. So a little bit more actually than the than PolyMC. So it's got I don't know what these do, but they've got their own launchers as well. Let's see, Modern. Uh, let's go ahead and make an instance because right off the bat we, we probably need an instance. Uh, they have a nice check for updates button. 
Huh, there's an import button. I don't see a button to create a new one. That's, that's a little weird. There are no instances, install one from the packs tab. So off the bat, you have to go to the packs to install an instance. They probably want you to install it with another pack. And that is doing absolutely nothing on Steam Deck. So let's go ahead and go to packs like they want me to do. And we probably want to search for uh, just keeping it to the same thing I used before, which was fabric, fabric performance pack, booster game FPS as much as possible. So this is like, you kind of get what you're given, I guess. Um, can I search within categories? Curse Forge, RL crap, Technic. Yeah, this kind of doesn't make me want to use it, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, there's loader versions. Here we go. Look at that. Why don't they just do that from the beginning? So 1192, create loader version, create instance. So it seems like if there's a new update, I'm probably going to have to come back over here and change it. Uh, versus unlike PolyMC, I think it you can select like latest version instead of selecting a particular release. I might be wrong about that, but it, it's, I that, that I think that's what it is. I don't I don't necessarily <laughs> I probably should have renamed that instance name uh, just because the last time I launched it with Dash L and then the instance name is a fairly long instance name to be. I might want to see if I can just <laughs> wasn't installed perfect. That uh, that is actually what I wanted to do, just just so that I can quickly rename it. I'm just gonna call it Fabric because I'm only gonna have one main Fabric instance. And it just renamed it on me. Or is that? Oh, it did. Okay, so fabric. Alrighty, add mods. Here we go. So this is a little bit better. The interface is more like what I'm used to seeing. Ah, install fabric API. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know that I want a beta right now. Let's go with the one below it. Oh. And course my touch interface is a little bit off let's add alrighty so let's see if we can find um, midnight midnight controls there we go we got both of them look at that that makes it easy and it wants a library. Yeah, sure. Add the library. Makes sense. Add midnight controls. Add the extra. Alrighty, that's that's pretty neat. So it handles that for me. But I don't think I actually installed the library the last time. So the next thing I want is a mini map. Uh, I don't care for the fair fair play edition. Alrighty, so there's betas, 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 and then they're all they're all showing up as betas. Okay, whatever. Let's go for that one. Alrighty, so that was pretty simple. Um, now we gotta go over to accounts. Let's add my account. I think I have to log in with Microsoft. If your browser hasn't opened, please manually copy paste the link below. Ah, uh, well. That's kind of annoying because I don't actually have my password. I don't want to type it out because it's generated. So that's um, nothing's opening actually anyway. And it's going to do a redirect URI. So I actually have to open it on this. Let's just open it on here. 
Don't restore my pages. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Just kidding. Paste it. Didn't actually copy. Great. Control A, Control C, Control V, Enter. Alrighty. So, because I don't actually remember my login, I'm going to have to pull my password manager over here. This could be a good spot for uh, sponsorship, but I don't, uh, I'm not, not prepared for that yet. Well, then again, is it a good sponsorship if I'm like having to log in <laughs> the hard way? So I'm going to go ahead and just, so I actually blanked on my screen, but they actually just give you a single use code, which makes it a lot simpler. You don't have to type the password on this thing. I thought for sure I was going to have to type a password, um, but this, this, this is nice. Yep. Give me, give me access. What's it doing? Alrighty, there we go. Logged in with a Microsoft account. Instances. Do I have to set the account that I want to use? Or is it just all good to go? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at So this is this is pretty similar to multi MC. I'm not not gonna lie. So this is this keeps it simple. Let's see if it's uh if it's gonna be as simple to um Let's see. Oh, close that out. Close that out. And let's go over to. I want to go over. Yeah. You know, oh, no, no. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and open up the Steam app. Let's go ahead and add game. Add. Oh, cancel. Add non Steam game. We're going to go ATL launcher. Add selected programs. Um, and I think. Oh, there it is. So uh, we can actually test it from in here. Let's go to properties and let's see if it's very similar to the other one. So dash L and I want to do a fabric and then I close that out and launch it. Let's see if it launches my game directly. If it does, that's a win. If it doesn't, which it looks like it won't right now, um, well, that kind of sucks. Dash shell fabric, not good. All right, let's go ahead and see if they have anything in here telling me how to. Launch it directly. Uh, this is all tutorials. <laughs> See if we can find some command parameters. I don't want to Java arguments. I want to add. Yeah, these are all Java parameters again. Let's see if we can go back over here and go to help. AT launcher, it looks like I found some command line arguments function. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Accepts updated, skip, chain analytics, working directory, no console close launcher, debug launch. The instance, here it is. The name of the instance to automatically launch. So 
Let's go ahead and switch back over to the Steam Deck. So I think we got what we needed. Alrighty, so over here on the Steam Deck, instead of dash L, what we're going to do is go ahead and let's see. My keyboard is not wanting to type right now. There it goes. So now that we know what we need, we can go in here and do dash launcher. Is I believe what we need or no, 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 dash launch space and, and I think that's good. So we can close this out, hit play, see if it launches the instance name that we need directly. Looks like it's saying running. So that's a good sign. It didn't immediately go back to play. So again, over here, once it parses the word launch, it looks for string after it, the value of string launch. So let's see, and that's a command line argument. And that is not working. And that failed. So let's try that again. It might be without the launch or without the. So let's go ahead and try that out and hit play again. Let's see if we can get it to work. Again, it looks like it's doing something, but we're not going to know for sure until that stop button says start again or it actually opens up the window. And there it goes again. No option. Let's try one more thing because I have high hopes for this. Like we found this inside of there. So I'm hoping that uh, we can get it to work. That would be nice. I forgot to copy ATL. So let's just go into the terminal. I don't know why my terminal window is so tiny. So puny puny. ATL and then paste the rest. That doesn't look like what I copied. from the Steam app. Uh, so not much we can do here. Um, so I'm gonna have to give this a fail on AT launcher. Um, the only good way to run it seems to be from the uh, from the desktop mode, um, which I don't really want that. I wanna be able to launch it from the game mode directly. I don't like having to switch back and forth. And honestly, I'd rather save a lot more battery inside of the game mode. So let's go ahead and try uh, one of the other ones. Um, let's close that one out. Um, so we already know I'm leaving Prism Launcher for the last. Honestly, I, I couldn't even find it in the store and I don't feel like manually installing it right now. So we're gonna go ahead and try GD Launcher. I believe we already have GD Launcher um, installed. Let's just go ahead and switch over back to my Steam Deck. All right, so let's go ahead and go back over and what we're going to do is um, I'm going to clean these up afterward but for right now let's go over and try GD launcher since that seems to possibly be our only working option without any kind of you know third party or website download install type thing um, you know when prism launches you know a flat pack for this then I'll happily try give it a try but for right now I'm not I'm not gonna go out of my way uh, so off the bat it wants to install some Java versions uh, let me know if you're if you know what you're doing let me result on G not working yeah it kind of makes sense automatic setup sure let's go ahead and do this automatically that that should be fairly quick All right, so right off the bat, it looks like I can sign it with Microsoft. And nice, this one opens up a window. This is similar to PolyMC. So it wants me to type in my email address. I'm just gonna go ahead and lock this out with a picture of myself right here. You guys can't see my email. <laughs> don't, need, don't need some more spam. All right. Perfect. So now it's going to go ahead and 
ask me for a code just like the last one did. And let's go ahead and check my email. Single sign on, single use code. This is perfect. So zoom in. So it wants to allow this app to manage my access. So I'm gonna go ahead and yes. Is that working? Is yes working? There it goes. You gotta scroll down. You can't hit it. I guess you can't hit it if it's off the edge of your screen. I guess Microsoft's problem. Maybe not. I don't know whose problem it is at that point. Loading, 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 loading. Well, I have a building just like that one in the background. Welcome. Look at that, my username. Nice friendly welcome by Bisect Hosting or partnered with. A little button down here. Wants me to buy them some coffee. I don't have coffee money. No instance has been installed. I don't go to Starbucks. All right, so let's go ahead and add an instance. It looks like I can do that from right here. Um, select the version. Oh, nice fabric releases. One nine two. Hold on. I thought it was one nine three. Latest, but okay. I may be confused. Ah, give it a name. Okay, I'm gonna call it fabric. Next, downloading game files. A little slower. I don't know whose fault that is. I don't know where it's grabbing it from. Keep in mind, I also have gigabit internet, so I don't know why it's going so slow. Uh, the, the last one was actually fairly quickly. Um, there it goes. It seems to be accelerating. I wonder if it's doing them linear and the other one maybe did it in parallel. Alrighty, so now we can go ahead and do nothing because my screen blanked out. It took so long to load, I just timed out my screen. Your instance is starting. Nice ads everywhere. I guess this could be time to do a sponsorship if I had one. Uh, hey, look at that, a Minecraft. Minecraft is running. Let's just let it get to the main screen and then then we'll close it. Alrighty, and close that out. And we'll do open up Steam. Ugh, so many games at this point. Move from ready to play. And I'm gonna remove that one as well. Add game, add non Steam game, and we're gonna go down to GD Launcher. There you are. Add selected program. So, hey, I have too many games from my own good in here. I know a lot of you have way more than this. And I can't find it for the life of me. So, we're just gonna go on to GD. There we go. All right, and just let's, let's just launch it to see if it even opens up. Ah, perfect. Okay, so that opens up. Let's go ahead and see if we can do some command line options here to get this to start up directly. So that that's that's amazing. That works. So that means it'll work inside of the Steam Deck. Let's see what we can find. So I went in here to GD Launcher to look at. Uh, launch options. Um, there's like really just start. I don't see anything outside of start. So, Krakow start. And that kind of sucks because that means that I don't know that. Uh, there's a config here. Mm, they're config. Plugins would pack. Yeah, so I don't see any other option unless unless they got something in the wiki. <laughs> yeah, so I don't see anything in here that'll allow me to launch directly. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to just uh, see how it, see how it works. GD Launcher, see how it works on side um, on the Steam Deck without any kind of. And there goes my Steam Deck going to sleep again. Good and bad. All right, so. 
All right, GD Launcher is the first one there. So let's go ahead and hit play, see what it looks like on this. All right, this is this is actually not too bad. Um, so I have no mouse controls whatsoever. Oh, look at that. I opened up JavaScript. I'm gonna have to disconnect for a second to get my touch screen controls back. <laughs> ah, this is amazing. So, so far. So the controls don't play nice with that screen at all. Like you can't navigate it to pick it, which kind of makes it hard. Um, it looks like I don't have any controls here. Again, no controls. I think we have to go back and add a mod. Let's look at that. So it actually, when you do it this way, you have GD Launcher and you have Minecraft so you can switch your windows. But it looks like what we're going to have to actually do is go back over into desktop mode. Here we are in desktop mode. I actually do not want to launch it. I think it's going to launch it anyway. Kill. So it's got server, export pack, open folder, duplicate, manage. So here we are, mod loader, mods. Go ahead and add a mod. Let's just call it Midnight. So I know that I need all of these just based on the last one. Say Rose. This one as well. Um, so there's all my mods. I can write notes apparently, do resource packs. Um, it looks like we don't, we're missing one more. So this one doesn't automatically do the fabric. Oh. And apparently, if you clicky too much, it uh, crashes. Not good. I might be looking forward to going back to the other one. Apparently, if you don't type GD and L, it won't pop up. All right, manage again, mods. Okay, if you click mods from there, it doesn't work. Now oh, it's got the fabric API. I don't know when it grabbed that, but apparently it grabbed it. So we're good. So let's go ahead and, I wonder if there's an option in here for Concurrent downloads like that. So So we want to go up there on the resolution. We don't want we don't want that low one. That's the startup method, so that's that's useless to us. All right, let's return back to game mode. All right, GD launcher again. Let's launch it. No direct launch option. Kind of hurts a little bit. I might try to see if I can uh, submit a request or whatever. 
So you gotta use touchscreen controls to launch it. All right, so it looks like we might have to set a custom resolution instead of using some of the presets because it's definitely doing that 1024 by 768. Uh, the controls are working. I can go to multiplayer. Um, here we go, add server. Go in here. Can I type? Can I connect to my server? That's all I care about. If I can play, it's gonna have to do for now until until they add a uh, Poly MC. I might just go through the trouble of doing it. So that's working. Alrighty. Alright, so one thing you will want to do is go ahead and change this from the default to 1280 by 800, which is what the Steam Deck uses. Um, once you've done that, you can go ahead and just close this out and then go ahead and launch your instance and let's go ahead and see if that fixed the resolution issue. Uh, that's still not full screen. But I guess it's pretty good for now. Um, I think what you might be able to do is go 1280 by 720. I think it's like standard um, 720p. Uh, I read online that it's supposed to do 1280 by 800, um, but I guess that's not necessarily accurate. So go ahead and set your resolution to 1280 by 720p. Um, then we can go back into the game. Go ahead and launch your game. There we go, full resolution. So 1280 by 720. If you have changed your default resolution to 1280 by 800, uh, you'll have to account for that. But let's see, controls are working. There's my game. So yeah, uh, so far GD launchers sort of winning. I don't like this interface, but it'll have to do for now. Um, we'll have the fags a game. And that's not too bad. So GD launcher winning for now. Little, little buggy on the touchscreen controllers, but um, yeah, that's, that's the best we can do for now. If we want to switch over to desktop mode, we can go ahead and maybe try Prism Launcher. I don't see anything online. So we'll just have to wait. Um, for right now, we'll have to wait until Prism Launcher comes out. But if you want, a good idea might be to go in here and just clean up all these horrible launchers. Let's go into here and I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm okay with GD launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these launchers. I actually don't need that app. Bobo wasn't working. Look at that. I'm cleaning up in here while I'm at it. Uh, GD launcher was working. Let's see. What am I looking for? That was a bedrock launcher, which wasn't that great either because it wasn't up to date. So I can't actually play with my daughters on the Nintendo Switch. Um, so not to do for now. Poly MC, let's go ahead and remove that. And that doesn't work anyway. So I'm gonna remove that as well. And there you go. So now that you've done that, you should have removed all traces of the PolyMC if you just want to go ahead and double check. I, I closed it a little too quick, so I don't know if it actually did anything. All right. Well, if you want to hear more, I'll go ahead and give Prism Launcher a try once I see it on, once I see a flat pack for it, essentially making it available. Until then, uh, make sure you subscribe so that I can go ahead and get you guys an update as soon as it comes out. While I was recording this, uh, the prison team actually moved fairly quickly and uh, we have a launcher now available in the Discover store. Um, so I'm going to use the recommended settings. So Java. Uh, this is very similar to PolyMC. 
I want a multi MC. Alrighty, so we're gonna want to, I'm gonna call it fabric, just like all my other ones. And we want to use the fabric loader uh, off screen again on the loader here. Um, we're going to go to edit, we're going to go mods, download mods, because I feel like midnight controls is a little required. Um, so off the bat, we have bond mod rinse and curse forge. Um, not as many as some of the other ones, but still pretty good. And then I want mini map. Uh, so it's a little buggy here. Uh, we have some text overlay that didn't used to happen with PolyMC. Um, there we go. Review and confirm. We're missing one mod. Um, yeah, this one didn't recommend it like the other ones. Uh, the Fabric API. Should be listed as like, they should have requirement listings so that it like installs one. I've seen that in one of the other launchers. Um, so that should be that. Um, I'm not even going to add my profile or anything. I'm just going to go straight into straight into it. Let's see if we can add it to Steam. Add oh, wrong button. Add non-Steam game, and we want Prism, which is probably going to be towards the end here. Add selected program. All right. So we have Prism, but it's going to be all the way to, towards the bottom. Uh, well, there's the P's, but I don't see Prism. Let's search for it. There it is. All right, settings, properties, and similar to PolyMC, we're going to go ahead and see if this works. Hopefully they built this into the flat pack. Dash L and then in double quotes. We're going to do the name of the instance. And that should be it. And hit play. <laughs> Perfect. That, that's actually really cool. Um, nope, don't add a Mojang account. Add a Microsoft account. Alrighty, so this is a little bit different than some of the other ones where they brought up a little pop up view and you use the code. Um, for this one, I have to link it with Microsoft link. I wonder if it's going to launch the game up or if it's just going to add the account and call it a day. And that's that's exactly what it did. All right. So, oh, close that up and it starts the game right up, I think. So the launch parameters still work on it, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Close this out. Return to game mode. Let's see if we can launch it from there. All right. Prison launcher. Let's go ahead and launch this thing. So I have everything in here, Midnight Controls, it's all set up with the mods and everything that it needs, the usual mods that I use at least. Alright, perfect, let's see if the controls are working, they are complaining about a game. There you have it. Minecraft Java Edition, the controls seem to work. I'm not going to get into the game. Um, but that all seems to work from here. So I would give Prism first place uh, just because they have a really well working launcher. They have an organized team, it seems like. Um, GD Launcher, second place. Um, a little buggy. It, it is written in, in JavaScript um, using 
uh, Proton and stuff like that. Um, a little buggy here and there, but it does still work. It has a good UI. Um, and they definitely thought a lot through as to like the installing dependencies and stuff like that. Um, something that, you know, uh, Prism can take notes from. Um, but at the end of the day, Prism is a little bit more stable um, as far as the code and, and how it functions their team. I, I'm not not too sure about that, but we'll see in the coming uh, months as, as they continue on and move forward from PolyMC.